सुप्रभातम फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल प्लांट्स एंड मी दिस इज डॉक्टर श्री देवी फ्रॉम मंगलुरु कर्नाटक इंडिया अ प्लांट विच आई हैड ऑर्डर्ड ऑनलाइन फ्रॉम अ फेसबुक वेंडर हैज अराइव टुडे दिस इज कॉल्ड एज गाइनूरा इट बिलोंग्स टू द सनफ्लावर फैमिली what has bowled me over is the leaves look at the leaves the way they are shining they give that velvet type of shine the leaf is also velvety in touch the back side of the plant is dark purple upper side is green in color but it gives a shade of purple it's a lovely plant in fact in mangaluru it grows in the wild i have never been able to collect i am opening the pack it had come in a bigger pack i removed that but this i am going to unpack now these have been rooted in the ziffy bag i just cannot get over that velvety shade of this plant the new leaves have got more velvet shade i bought three plants i'm going to repot them in a hanging pot i have this hanging pot these plants in fact they cascade down from the pot so it look very good this pot had something else in it and now the plant is not there in this but i had put some succulent in it and so the potting mix is a succulent type of potting mix that is it has got lots of sand in this there are a few uh, coconut chunk pieces also it had rained so this so this tray it holds water this tray actually is not needed i can remove it but if i remove this the pot it loses its beauty that is why i'll keep the tray so this is the succulent type of potting mix in this i use one part of soil and three parts sand that is the sea sand and i add vermi compost in it in this there is no vermi compost i am going to add vermi compost to the pot two handfuls it's a small hanging pot it doesn't require much quantity i'm mixing this i 
I have a video on the potting mix for cactus and succulents. You can always watch that video. So this is mixed. Now comes the most irritating part. For me at least. I will have to separate this plant from this ziffy bag and when I will be separating this this is in coco peat these ziffy bags come with coco peat they come as flattened coin like structures you need to soak them in water and then they will swell up like this and it is coco peat so coco peat will swell and it gives this much quantity of coco peat after that coin you know so called coin swells up now problem is it is in coco peat i will be transferring it to mud i need to remove this coco peat or otherwise i can plant it like this in the pot but I will have to be very very careful with my watering schedule. If I over water it, then this coco peat, this holds a lots of moisture. So if I over water it, that moisture will cause root rot. The roots are well developed, it is a well rooted plant. I am going to remove this coco peat into this extra pot as much as possible I am going to remove I am not a very big fan of coco peat I like coconut chunks rather than coco peat this is how the roots are they are very well developed. I am now going to poke this plant into the mud. I will make some space. I will dip, I, I have got rain water here. I will dip it and lots of coco peat again extra coco peat which was adhering to the roots that has gone the roots are very nice white colored so i'm going to take this and just poke it here this is one plant this is look at the roots they have come out of the ziffy bag I am again opening this or tearing the ziffy bag open. This I will put in this pot. I don't want the coco peat. lovely there are two plants in one pot i ordered three plants total but i think while rooting the vendor must have put poked two stem cuttings and luckily both of them have rooted i am also lucky i got four plants instead of three so this is the root I will wet the root due to wetting anyway the extra coco peat which is adhering will go not only that the roots they will absorb moisture so they will get a bit of life not that they are dead they will become more active Again, I am making 
place in this pot and I am poking this here. Similarly, again little more place and this roots compared to the other plant the roots are little less but they are developed. I will remove this lowermost leaf it's yellow. I will take this and poke it. Now the third ziffy bag is still there. Again, tear it open. And put the coco peat into this pot. Owning a gynura was on my wish list always since quite some time. It's not very easily available. Again, this roots have been exposed. I am dipping it in water. Actually, I had kept a container here and the rain water has collected in it that's it it's not any special water so i have dipped this roots in water in this ziffy bag only one plant was now i'll make place here and poke this plant into that place Now I have repotted all the four plants. They are looking so beautiful. I just can't wait for them to come out of the transplant shock and then, you know, cascade down the pot. The pot will look really very beautiful. Gainura belongs to the sunflower family. It is called as Okinawa spinach. It is also called as purple passion flower. The leaves are succulent. I will show you one of the leaves which I removed that time. Yes, this leaf. The leaves are very thick. If you observe, the leaves are very thick. And they have got these hairs on them. They have got these hairs on them. Once the leaves are thick, it means it is a succulent. We have to follow the cactus and succulent schedule. Sunlight requirement, it grows in bright indirect sun. It can also tolerate morning tender sun. It cannot... Uh, tolerate the hot afternoon sun morning tender sun or evening tender sun is okay for the plant that is about the sunlight requirement once you put it in the pot the leaves they will cascade down from the pot and uh, in a bright area where there is no sun in that bright area this plant will look very beautiful Nutrition, it is a heavy feeder. I have given it vermicompost. Uh, once the plant uses of all the vermicompost, I will replenish it again. How will I come to know that the vermicompost is used? The level of the soil will go down. The soil, I mixed vermicompost in the soil. So once the vermicompost gets used, the soil particles will 
they will readjust and the level of the uh, soil will come down so that's an indication that vermicompost has been used so i will replenish it again what are requirements for gynura orantiaca that is the botanical name it requires moist soil that is consistently moist soil the potting mix should not be allowed to dry off completely once the potting mix starts getting drier on the surface that means the lower layers are still wet but not that much wet they are crumbly but moisture is there so at that stage it should be watered again the roots they like to be in moist potting mix but they do not like soggy potting mix if water starts staying in the soil then the plant is prone to root rot it also prefers high humidity in mangalore there is no dearth for humidity but otherwise a pot with this type of tray is beneficial for the plant for humidity the tray will uh, allow the water to collect in it and from that water humidity will be supplied to the plant i will be removing the water from the tray because there is enough uh, humidity in mangalore my place is full of humidity so i don't need to uh, retain that water in the tray this uh, gynura oria gynura this gynura orantiaca is said to be edible it is used as salad it is said that it has got a tangy taste it is used in salads it is eaten raw but it has got alkaloids also in it so excessive consumption should be avoided so i have covered water requirements sunlight and nutrition i have not seen how the flowers look like once it flowers i will definitely put up a pic of the flower i'm still staring at the purple leaves purple and green leaves it is so beautiful the young leaves they have got that purple tinge i am just bowled over with this plant i am not able to take off my eyes i am not able to take my eyes off the plant i will be keeping the gynura in shade for 2 to 3 days i have exposed the roots but i put it into the potting mix immediately the roots will not dry i am not very sure whether the plant will go into transplant shock because i just removed from the coco peat and put it into the uh, potting mix i'll keep it in shade for 2 to 3 days once it recoops comes out of the transplant shock then i will keep it in semi shade that was the repotting of gynura orantiaca thanks for joining take care bye